In this video, we're going to continue our exploration of graphics and look at some more of the shape types that are part of Scala FX. So last time we started playing with shapes, we added the kind of the simple shapes, rectangle, circle, ellipse, line, and I added a text element uh, because we can throw those in as well. Now I want to look at some things that are perhaps a little bit more complex. In particular, we'll start with the polygon and the polyline. So a polygon we make with a call to polygon and we, paste, we pass it a variable length list of doubles. So we can go to the API and see what that looks like here. <clears throat> we have an apply method that takes a points which is a double star. Now that might seem a little bit odd because after all a uh, point isn't just a double, it needs two doubles. And indeed, the list that we give is most meaningful if it happens to be a multiple of two. So the first value we give is going to be taken as the x-coordinate of the uh, first point, and the second value is going to be the y-coordinate of the first point. So I'm going to make it so this polygon appears down below the rectangle that we already had. And then I can continue, so the x and y-coordinate of my second point. Maybe I want to go down to 10 and 190. And uh, then I'll just do this as a triangle. Let's go over to not 190 to 90 and 190. Now, if I just stop here, we'll stop there, we'll add it in. And we'll see what that looks like. So note, I added three points. The polygon automatically closes itself. So if I, I do not have to go back to the beginning, it's going to make a closed shape, and it's drawn filled in, as you can see here. I could have made this more complex. Uh, you don't have to have three. If you have four, well, you could make a, a rectangle, but you could also have any other type of uh, quadrilateral. It does not have to be a parallelogram. So basically, you have full control, and you could add five, six, seven, however many points it is that you want to have. Turns out that points is also a member of the polygon that you can add things to later. So you can wind up building up the, the outer path by adding things on to, to this list. So by continuing to add more doubles onto it, you can make the, the polygon have, have uh, more points in its perimeter. A close relative to the polygon is the polyline. Equals a polyline. And we construct it the same way. So I'm actually going to move over to 110, 110 for the first, and then 110, 190 for the second, 190, 190 for the third, and we can add the polyline in here. And what does that look like? Well, it turns out that the polyline does not automatically close off the way that a polygon does, and so it might actually be interesting to, to add in one or two more points on this, just so we can see a bit more about how it works. So let's go up to the top corner, or yeah, which would be the 190 and uh, 110. And then I'm gonna go to the middle, which for this would be 150, 150. We can run this again. And now I kind of have a weird shape that might be your lock pattern for a cell phone or something like that. So you can just add points to, to add extra segments, but it does not naturally close off. If you want to close it off, you would have to add back in the, the first point so that that happens. And it also does not fill it in the way that, it, that a polygon gets filled in. Had we made the polygon with this shape, it would have naturally filled in. It would have kind of looked like a, a filled in M um, because it would have closed off by putting a line there and then filling in this whole area. So that's the 
polygon and the polyline. Uh, also the polyline you can add points to just like you can on the polygon after you've created it. You can add more stuff. They're a bit more complex than these other ones, but not overly so. Uh, and we're, we'll come back and we'll look at even more shapes uh, in the future videos.